Hey guys, welcome back. It's time for another Reviving Old Eyeshadow Palettes video. I am pretty excited. Pat McGrath, Mothership 2 Sublime. I'm very excited for this one. This is my first ever Pat McGrath palette. I was so, so excited to have it. And honestly, I love this palette a lot more now than when I first got it. So basically this series is just me doing get ready with me's with older palettes because in the beauty community, palettes and products in general get forgotten about within a few weeks. So I just thought it'd be fun to revive some older palettes. I created a playlist, so if you wanna check out the other videos, you can do that. I will link that. I'll link all the products in the description box and let's get started. Like I said at first, I had a hard time using this palette because it is a different formula. It's not exactly what I'm used to, but now that I've used this more, I have used this palette over 100 times. This was in my project 100 uses and I know it doesn't look like it, but these are so tightly pressed in here. There's hardly any kickback. Um, I don't know, it took some getting used to, but now I really love it. So I'm gonna start with this. It's a satin shade, it's kind of a burgundy color. I usually do use this as a companion palette, but I do wanna do a look with just this today. So yeah, I mean the Pat McGrath formula, definitely, like I said, it took getting used to, but now I really do like it. And I appreciate that it's different than other things I have in my collection. It's more unique, I think. So as you can tell, the satin, it blends out to, I mean, even almost a matte. You can tell there's a bit of sheen, but so beautiful. I really, really like it. Um, I've been watching, I love Kinky Sweat's Pat McGrath videos. I mean, I love all her videos, but her Pat McGrath videos are so good. And I was just in awe that she knows all the names of the shades. So I don't know what these are called because they're on a separate piece of paper, which for this palette, I didn't keep. For Mothership 5, I did keep it. Um, I know this one's called Blitz Astral Emerald, I think. And one of these is called like VR Nectar. <laughs> the names are so complicated and she knows them all. I don't know if she's like reading, all, like she has the sheets next to her or if she actually has them all memorized. But anyway, that's random, I know, but I was just impressed that she knew all the names. So yeah, this looks, uh, that one's looking a little bit messy. Oh my gosh, my last video, I struggled so much. <sighs> Hopefully this one goes a little better. Um, I'm gonna go with this shade in the outer corner. This shade is so nice. Yeah, the formula, this is really nice. Like I said, it took getting used to, but I really do like it. And I do, for this series, I do wanna use the Mothership 5, and then I also have the Golden Opulence. I do plan to include some palettes that have been discontinued because just because things aren't around anymore doesn't mean I don't wanna talk about them anymore on my channel because A, I'm sure other people still may have them, and B, you can always create a similar look with something else, so. Um, okay, let's blend this out. I do wanna use the emerald shade, by the way. I don't know that I said that. I feel like it's the star of the palette, so I wanna use it, I can't help it. And I do, I like these satins in the crease. I think that they look nice. And I think, I mean, if you see Pat McGrath's looks, a lot of sparkle. She does a lot of sparkle. It's definitely, I would say something she's known for. So yeah, okay, I like it. I think I wanna put a tiny bit of the black eyeshadow in the outer corner, just a little bit there, yeah. This is a very high quality black eyeshadow. I will say, I posted a look on my Instagram stories a few weeks ago, I tried to create a look based on the Natasha Denona Mini Xenon palette. And wow, grays and blacks, those are hard for me to use. I don't quite have the talent for that. So I struggled, but I do like how the look turned out. Okay, let's go with the emerald shade. Again, this is my favorite brush for shimmers. This is the brush from the Naked Honey palette. It's so good. So these definitely wet brush for sure. Um, or glitter glue, 
you know, but just dry out of the pan. They're very, very difficult to apply. So, oh, and she came out with that new shadow base thing. That looked kind of cool. So, all right, let's just start. Oh my gosh. The sparkle is, is unreal. I have no idea if this is picking up on camera, but it looks amazing. Yeah, I have to say, I I like that her formula, it's, it's something different. It's unique, I like that. Okay, I'm gonna try to blend this out. Yeah, the problem is, is once you do start blending these, the shimmers definitely tend to like go everywhere, yeah. But it's fine. I mean, honestly, her shimmers are just so beautiful that, you know, I could just use those and call it a day. I'm going to go with a bit more of this dark burgundy brown out here. I just realized I'm totally not in frame. Something I like to do with these shades is just kind of use them a little bit as a topper like here or in the middle. I've done that a lot with the Mothership 5 palette. Um, so I'm going to go with this shade here. And yeah, don't know what it's called. With my, which this one's from another Urban Decay palette. I think this one's from the Stoned Vibes palette. Man, I seriously love these brushes. So definitely going to wet the brush there and then let's think a little bit here in the inner corner. I mean that shade is already so sparkly I feel like maybe it's hard to tell on camera but I'm seeing some pink shimmers there. I don't know if that's picking up, but it's definitely adding a pink duochrome. And I'm just putting it up there, if that makes sense. Oh my gosh. So sparkly and beautiful. I have no idea if this is showing up, but I am in love with this so much. Yeah, like I said, I had a hard time using her formula at first, but once I kind of realized like some of these are better as topper shades and all of that, I pretty much fell in love. I like that a lot. Oh my gosh. I could just keep adding this, honestly. I feel like I could just add this on top of any existing eyeshadow look and it would be amazing. Wow. Someone needs to take this brush away from me. I cannot stop adding this show. I could just do this for like an hour and just sit here and just stare at it. So I like this look. Oh my gosh, I am such a fan. It's, I feel like all I did was slap some sparkly eyeshadows on my eyes but I really, really like it. So I'm gonna clean up the fallout, I'll be back. I'm hoping, I don't wanna have to do a winged liner today, I mentioned in all my videos. Sometimes I do wing liner to cover up like mistakes in the outer corner, so I'm hoping I can avoid that today and I'll be back. All right, I cleaned up the fallout and I was able to avoid doing winged liner. I put on the Believe Beauty Primer. I'm really, really enjoying this. I wanna do, a bit more of a full coverage look today. I have not used this in so long. I bought this corrector last year from, from Black Radiance. I bought it at Target. This is the shade, what's it called? I don't know. It's just a peach corrector, but um, basically last year I got really obsessed with my hyperpigmentation and like covering it up and treating it and I don't know. Then I just kind of gave up um, and didn't do it as an extra step. But when I have used this corrector, I do think that it's nice. And I don't think my hyperpigmentation is terrible, but 
I guess I notice it, so that tends to bother me, which, you know, is probably pretty normal. Um, I do feel like that helps, though. I like this corrector, so... Anyway, um, I am going to use the Believe Beauty Foundation, which I've really, really enjoyed. I have the shade Nude. I wasn't sure when I picked out the shade in store because you really can't tell and they don't have any samples or no, what's that word? Testers. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't stop staring at this eye look. I really, really like it. Okay, so let's blend out the foundation. Yeah, like I've said in a couple videos, I got stuff from Believe Beauty because of Emily Noel. She has raved about their products. And so far I like everything except the single eyeshadow I bought, creases. I've tried it multiple times and no matter what I do, by the way, I'm wearing my Milani eye primer, which is what I always wear, but I do have oily eyelids. So even with the Milani eye primer, that stupid eyeshadow creases within like 20 minutes. So frustrating, I've tried it multiple times and I really don't like to walk around with like completely creased eyeshadow all day long. Especially because if I use my Milani eye primer, I can use any of my other eyeshadows and that just does not happen at all. So, okay, I like this foundation. Um, I'm gonna use the concealer. I've liked this too, I gotta say. Everything else, you know, considering all these products are between four and five dollars, the fact that there's only been one dud for me, really, not bad, not bad at all um what's my shade in the concealer biscuit yeah definitely impressed with that as you can tell it's not like a crazy full coverage concealer but i don't mind so i made a few sephora purchases because i got the 100 dollars rouge reward which i've never gotten that before um but i was like you know what i'm just gonna use it and try some stuff I haven't tried before and I didn't buy any eyeshadow which I have the most of and I don't need but as far as like complexion products I've wanted to try some new things because I don't have that many and I got the Dior powder I got the shade 2N natural this is actually pretty nice I have to say um, I just use it to kind of set my face it has I don't know it's just very natural looking it doesn't add coverage though. It's definitely sheer for the most part. Um, it's a bit glowy. I don't know, I've actually, I've enjoyed it. I've used it several times. So I actually think it gives a really nice finish and doesn't look cakey at all. So I've actually been enjoying that one. Um, let's set the under eyes as usual. Bare Minerals, Mineral Veil. Tell you, if this stuff gets discontinued, oh my gosh, I would be very, very, very upset if that happened. Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. Just gonna do a bit of contour with this. Not much, but. I figure why not, I'm going all out with this look. I can't stop staring at the eyeshadow, I'm sorry. I really, really, really like this. Can't help it. I'm making great progress on my bronzer, by the way. This is called Coconut Beach by ColourPop. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this. I do like bronzer. I don't put much on, but I do like a little bit just to kind of give the face some shape. I'm gonna use the Believe blush, and this is in Second Chance. It's a peach. 
So it's kind of half shimmer, half matte. I've really enjoyed this. I think it's a really nice formula. And I just recently posted a blush declutter, if you saw that. I'm feeling way better about my blush collection now. It kind of got a little overboard there. Um, so, And I rediscovered when I was doing that, I was like, oh yeah, I haven't used this blush in a while. And Okay, this is nice. I feel like it's very kind of natural looking. Very, very pretty. Highlighter. I don't even know what I want to do for highlighter. Um, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll use this Kylie one is in my shop, my stash. This is in Ice Me Out. I actually like this one. I like that. I think this is a pretty nice highlighter. This was a free gift with purchase from Ulta a while ago, so eh, not bad. Okay, um, I need finishing powder, um, hourglass. Trying to decide what about the lower lash line. If I'm gonna go shimmery or not shimmery. I mean, this look is already so shimmery. I can't decide. Um, I'm thinking not on the lower lash line, but for sure in our corner. So yeah, let's do the lower lash line with this shade dark. Actually, you know what? First I wanna put some of the black eyeshadow. Yeah. And then smoke that out. Okay. I have to say, I mean, her mattes are, I mean, she's known for the sparkly shades. But the mattes just glide on the eyes. I mean, I know I'm raving about this palette, but I really like it. I'm gonna go with this shade, kind of blend that out. Okay, smoky, I like it. Um, yeah, let us know if you have this palette. What are some of the looks that you do or what other mothership palettes do you guys have? Honestly, if money was no object, I would go just buy all of these because that's that's how in love with I in love with them I am. Yeah, I think if money was no object, I would buy all of the Pat McGrath mothership palettes and all the Natasha Denona palettes. But you know, I'm trying to hold some, you know, restraint here. So inner corner, I'm thinking either the gold or this shade, which is a duochrome. It kind of goes gold to pink. Hmm, I think maybe I'll do that one. I just kind of cleaned off this brush and gonna do a bit of setting spray there. And let's see. Wow, I barely even put any there, but that is beautiful. I don't know if you can see that inner corner duochrome effect. Man, okay, I am going to do brows, a mascara. I'm thinking of doing a bold lip too, so I'll be back. Here we are, final look. I added a bold lip. I don't even own many bold lipsticks because I rarely wear them. This is Ofra Havana Nights. I feel like I did a terrible job at applying it. <laughs> That's part of the reason I don't wear these bold lipsticks. They are just very high maintenance. But yeah, I did brows, mascara. Oh, I am wearing the Believe Beauty Mascara on the lower lash line. I've enjoyed this. Just, this does not smudge. It's called the Voluminize Mascara. Doesn't smudge. It doesn't give as much volume as I would want, so I did L'Oreal on the upper lash line. But yeah, I have liked this. It's just not quite as much volume, but it doesn't flake or smudge throughout the day. So yeah, that is it for this look. I have to say, I have re-fallen in love with this palette. I hadn't used it in a while and 
wow, I can't, I can't stop staring at this sparkle. And I don't know if it's showing up on camera. I'm curious if you can see just how sparkly this look is. This shade is so amazing as a topper shade. It's pretty sheer on its own when I've tried to use it, but as a topper shade, it's amazing. This kind of duochrome on the inner corner I like. And of course, the emerald shade, I mean, such a beautiful green. I really love it. So, and I have to say, I mean, the mattes and the satins are really, really good too. Oh, you know what I should have done? Something that Kinky Sweat says always in her videos that this shade up here can be used as a highlighter on the face. I didn't do that, um, but I may have to try that at some point. I, I love the look, oh my gosh. Like I said, if I could, I would buy all the Pat McGrath palettes, but I wanna appreciate the ones that I have. So the other one I have in a full size is the Mothership 5. I do plan on doing that for this series as well. Let us know what you think. And if you wanna catch up on the other Reviving Old Palettes videos, check out the playlist. And if there's another palette that you know I own that you would want me to add to the list for this series, just, yeah, let me know. So let us know if you have this palette or other Pat McGrath palettes. That is it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.